Hot flashes are a major problem for many women uh, as they go through menopause. Uh, there's estrogen therapy available that will help those hot flashes. Uh, the problem is there are concerns regarding estrogen therapy for patients, uh, uh, and therefore people have looked at non-estrogenic ways of trying to control hot flashes. We've been looking at this for the last 15 or 20 years. Uh, we've uh, noted that newer antidepressants do help hot flashes. Gabapentin is an anti-seizure medication, and it also helps hot flashes. So there are non-hormonal ways that will help hot flashes. Currently, what we did is we looked at a drug called pregabalin. It's similar to gabapentin, but a bit different. Uh, there was uh, information that it might be helpful for hot flashes, but nobody had looked at it in a placebo-controlled manner, a proper clinical trial. So we did conduct such a trial. Uh, we took patients who were complaining of hot flashes, at least an average of four hot flashes per day. Uh, they agreed to participate in the study. They were randomized to either get a placebo or one of two different doses of this pregabalin medication, a lower dose and a moderate dose. Higher doses have been given for other indications. Um, patients, so patients were randomized to these three treatment arms. Before they got any of their study medications, they kept track of their hot flashes on a week for one week uh, with a daily diary. Um, and then they, were re they got either the placebo, the low-dose pregabalin, or the intermediate-dose pregabalin. The doses of pregabalin were target doses of 75 milligrams twice a day and 150 milligrams twice a day. We didn't want to start off with those doses. We started off with a lower dose and worked ourselves up to those particular three doses. None of the patients or the doctors knew which arm the patients were on, so it was a double-blinded clinical trial. The uh, end of the day, we looked at hot flashes six weeks later compared to the baseline. Um, what we saw were that hot flashes, the hot flash numbers decreased by 36% in the placebo group, something we've seen in many trials, and they decreased by about 60% in the two pregabalin arms, similar reductions with both the two pregabalin arms. Patients tolerated the medication reasonably well all in all. There was an equal number of patients on all three arms that stopped the medication due to toxicity. But when we look at the toxicities uh, that were recorded, there were statistically more uh, troubles with a couple of things in the lower dose arm, and that is trouble with some concentration and dizziness. Um, but it seemed to be relatively mild and got better with time as the medication was continued. With the higher dose arm, there were the same problems as those as was seen with the lower dose arm, but also with troubles with some coordination, some uh, sleepiness, uh, some vision troubles, uh, and some weight gain. Uh, when the patients finished their study, they were asked whether or not they thought that the medication helped their hot flashes or not. 33% uh, of the placebo group said their hot flashes were improved, and this compares to about 70% of the patients who were receiving the two pregabalin treatment arms, similar in both arms, actually a bit better, higher number in the lower dose arm. If you asked them a question slightly differently and said how many patients thought that the medication was helping them with little or no toxicity, the number was about 33% in the patients who were getting the placebo and about 60% in both of the other two treatment arms. So in conclusion, it looks like pregabalin from our study results does decrease hot flashes similar to what we see with the other medication, gabapentin, and also similar to what we've seen with newer antidepressant medications. We're done, I think, with our uh, with our evaluation of this agent. We are looking at other things to try to help hot flashes. One of the things we have set up is a uh, placebo-controlled trial looking at flaxseed because there's some information that suggests that flaxseed will also help hot flashes.